Josh Comstock. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Josh. I'm from Pride Incorporated. Okay. These are the final sign plans for the store down the street. I thought we got those a couple weeks ago. No, we had to amend the, the schedule. We had, last week we voted, or last meeting we voted to amend the details of what plans are what. And then they were going to incorporate that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. So that's so all. Bring, just a complete bring up here. Yep. Okay. So this is the final. This is. Three cents. So we just want to take a quick look to be sure. Yep. The, the deal was they're supposed to. Incorporate the decision into the plan, which they did, and now they've incorporated the uh, amendment into the plan. Um, this is just the only sign on that. Well, this is now supposed to be, this is the final thing. So when Tim Nyhart goes out to the site and finds something on the site that isn't on these plans, he issues a cease and desist order. Okay. So do I sign one of these? Uh, Three of those? Yeah, I guess you can sign all three and then I guess we can. We keep all three? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you want to tell, right? <coughs> right. Correct. And everything's all set with that sign, too, right? Over there, Jimmy. The sign on this project. Yes. Yes. Or the today's thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. everything. How far is that off the road? Where is that? What's the middle? Uh, probably on the second sheet, first sheet. shows the build out but it uh, says this application is only for the pride parcel on the east. We don't have no intentions right now to develop that second parcel. I don't believe so. The same location is on C2. Surprisingly, didn't. 
Are you allowed to put us in? Uh, yeah, they're allowed to, they're, they're allowed, to, they're allowed to put a directional site here. You don't show nothing. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site here. Yeah, they're allowed to put a directional site
we may have to discuss what we're going to do about scheduling a hearing. Uh, you know, certainly we, uh, as with uh, Mr. Roberts, we're scheduling a hearing for property, he, we're, we're having a hearing for property he doesn't know, so. Um, I'd like to make a motion to have the chairman get a hold of Tom Gonsley and ask that specific question. There's a lawsuit pending at something's in front of the board. Do we act or do we postpone it? I, I would might make more sense to have Mr. Dwyer ask that question. He can maybe answer it or ask it in better legal terms than I can. Okay. Do you agree with that? Yeah. I will uh, I will email Joel. Joel's been away anyway, so okay. he's not won't be available until uh, next week. Okay. Um, he's back in town tomorrow next he said. Well, the only experience I've had with the attorney representing the Legion is when he represented us uh, against Five Colleges, Inc. And I think Five Colleges, Inc. saw the writing on the wall. That's just an observation. Okay, so we want to know if we can even schedule a hearing with pending litigation. Can you make that a motion, John? Yeah. Second. Any? All in favor? Any other discussion of the motion? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimous. Only four is there one absent, depending how you vote, Bill. No. Well, I'll vote no, that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ten. And, and get something in writing, not verbal. I don't like his verbal comments. Like, I asked him once. What are we doing a year later? No, not a year, it was 2016. Last month, 2018, he writes his, on that land on the North Avenue field. I don't go for that verbal stuff. That's close enough for it. Okay, well, planning board, I'll read the announcement as it appeared on the Gazette. The Hadley Planning Board will conduct a public hearing on Tuesday, April 17th. 2018 beginning at 7.15 p.m. in the Hadley Senior Center meeting room. The purpose of the hearing is to re review the application of Barry Rabbit for special permits. You got a bunch of them. Site plan approval, business use and aquifer, erosion and sediment control, lot width, section 4.3.7, and vehicular access, section 5.7. Said special permits are for two proposed new buildings at 303 Russell Street, Totaling 20,563 square feet, zoned industrial, application and plan to be viewed in the town clerk's office during normal business hours. Published twice in the Gazette, April 2nd and 9th. Appropriately published. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. I'm Tom Reedy, an attorney with Bacon Wilson over in Amherst here on behalf of 303 Russell Street, LLC. Uh, the applicant. With me this evening, Barry Roberts, the developer, and our civil engineer, Phil Henry, from Civil Design Group out of North Andover. Um, so we're talking about 303 Russell Street, pizza lumber uh, property. We've got an existing conditions, even though. Before you get any further. Of course. Uh, I just want to oh, sure. uh, make a statement for the record that I have filed a uh, disclosure under General Law 268A, Section 23. <laughs> Um, uh, just to um, put on the record that I do represent Dick Pizza, who is the former owner of the property in question and who holds a mortgage on the property from the current owner. Perfect. Um, so I think you're familiar with the site. What we have is a, is a photograph showing what the site looked like before Barry got involved. Uh, and so just a little bit of the history of the site. You know, it was a, the Keatsa Lumber site. Um, 1836 development, Rayos, Jeff Waskevich uh, had, has it under contract, had it under contract, um, had it conveyed to them and had not done anything with it. Uh, Barry has it under contract to purchase from 1836 development. There was an existing order of conditions that allowed the demolition of most of the buildings. You'll notice if you've driven by, this building remains, but the balance of these buildings are gone. The site has been graded. Uh, Barry's brought some fill from 
think UMass and also East Street Commons. There was pick a four to five feet of wood chips all in this area here that he's removed and then filled in. He had Wagner Wood go and remove all of the junk, debris, et cetera, on the site. Um, and that was under an existing order of conditions. We've filed a notice of intent with the Conservation Commission. We have had one hearing with them. Um, we were continued to May 8th. Um, we have a site walk scheduled for Thursday uh, at 2 o'clock. They've got a peer reviewer involved as well, Bill Shaheen out of Granby. Um, is going to be doing that. Mickey Marcus from SWCA is. What is that site walk? Thursday at 2 p.m. This Thursday? This Thursday, yes. Um, really just to look at the what Barry has done and then also, you know, all of this degraded area because there's a wetland right here um, and that you'll see from the proposed plans that we're looking to do some things in and around. There's also some uh, contamination in that wetland. And so we've got to remove um, a, a good majority of that wetland and truck the, the material off site because of the, uh, it's under the remediation plan that we're going to have. Um, so that's, those are, that's the existing condition. And what we're proposing are two buildings, uh, one 15,763 square foot building that you'll see here. It's at the northerly side of the property and then about a 4,800 square foot building towards the rear of the property. This, this one up here is going to be a, a harbor freight. I don't think it's any big secret. I think we said it last time. Uh, and this one is going to be a, a Rayos a coffee roaster, wholesale facility and retail facility as well. Um, How big is that building? About 4,800 square feet. We meet the two to one uh, parking. There's about 110 spaces associated with this, 21 spaces associated with this one for 131 spaces altogether. Uh, and as I mentioned, we meet that two to one uh, ratio. There, uh, there is a 29%, I think, open space. Um, we do have a relatively clean letter from Berkshire Design. You did just receive it yesterday. It wasn't received a week before, and that was because of. Um, our delay in getting things to the peer reviewer. Phil and Barry had a meeting with Mark Stinson, who is the circuit rider for DEP two weeks ago, I think two Thursdays ago, um, just to solidify. And Phil will be able to talk about the drainage on the site, what it's doing, what it does now, and what it's going to do post development. Um, uh, Harbor Freight, seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., about 30 employees total. Uh, mixed between part-time and full-time, four to five of them to be on site at any one time. Uh, they'll have weekly deliveries. You say they'll be 24 hours in? No, 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 uh, no. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days a week. <laughs> seven days, four to five employees on at all time, but 30, 30 new jobs really is what we're looking at. And what's the time frame they're open until? 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days a week. And then you've got Rails, which is going to have eight employees, four to work the back, and then uh, where the, the roasting happens, and then four in the office and retail area. Uh, they'd like more expanded hours for the roasting and the wholesaling, um, so really no restriction. They will have an after, I think it's called an afterburner. Um, they'll, they'll have an afterburner at this site. I know that when we were here with Esalon, it was something that the chairman had asked, but Rayos, I don't know about their existing, but certainly with this, they'll have an afterburner. They'll have an afterburner. Um, Who was the nearest thing to the school? Steve Lewis. I mean, so you've got, it'll be back in this area here. So you've got the bike path, obviously, parking, and then probably the school, mm -hmm. at the Chinese Immersion School there. You got it. Um, yeah, you got a couple of houses, but they're quite a ways away. Yeah, they're quite a ways. I don't even think up, they were up by Lowe's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even <laughs> think they, they got the uh, the but the abutters. The abutters so this the site, this location is further away from those houses than the current location. Correct. Oh yeah, yeah. Correct. Um, we have asked for some waivers um, to allow a curb cut with greater than twenty four feet. Uh, do the site's location on Route 9. We also we have to go through the DOT process because right now there are two 
Curb cuts, we're going to be consolidating and just having one curb cut about in this area. Uh, we've got our traffic engineer meeting with DOT hopefully this week to talk through it and also we understand that there's going to be some road widening in this area so we just have to figure out how that's going to affect this parcel so we're asking for the uh, wider curb cut. Um, we haven't provided a traffic impact statement we provided a, a, a traffic assessment and we had provided at the Berkshire design and they came back with no comments. Um, I'm happy to give a summary of that if you'd like. Um, we are requesting waiver from strict compliance with the 15 foot landscape buffer and shade tree requirement along Route 9. You'll notice that here we've got landforms instead of vegetation, so it'll effectively block the vehicles but not the building, just so that there's appropriate sight lines to the building. Uh, and we think that based upon the balance of the vegetation that we're proposing, that I mean, after you'll see that the site it, there's a robust vegetation plan. Okay, so the uh, which way is north on that plan? Okay, so the, the west pretty much has lots of trees already. Okay. Yeah, and I think Barry is part of the cleanup. There's a lot of trees. The west has got trees all along the border. Yeah, Here, yeah there, there, are, there are some there. There's also a billboard if you're familiar with right. it, and that billboard is there's a lease that we. That's on your on his property. Right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, his meaning Roberts. Yes. Soon what will be Roberts. Yeah, you'll see it here right along this what's I think called Dawson's Creek. Um, it was it's a deemed a perennial stream. I don't know if this happened as a result of the Lowe's development, but there seemed from what I understand to be an agreement that this is a perennial stream which carries with it riverfront. It's, um, there's a drainage ditch there. It was actually, there's an, uh, a recorded document, essentially a taking from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Highway Department that has 30 feet, so 15 feet on this property, 15 feet on that property, and it had, they have the duty to maintain it. I mean, if you go out there, you'll see that there are two box culverts, I think is what they're called, under the road. Left, uh, if you're looking at it, the left one's fine, the right one is just all silted up, and there's just nothing coming through there. We'd get in there if we if we could. We're happy to. I think we'd have to go through the conservation commission to actually. I'll tell you that was my concern when you guys started. It, it is now. And yeah. It will be, and it's not only that. It's the culvert, and I talked to the tomorrow at the DPW, and he wrote that he he would want to see maintenance in that ditch, and he never looked at that culvert. Is that culvert clear? Which one? The one under the, the bike, bike path. path. The one under the bike path is clear. The one that comes under Route Nine. One side is all silted up. up. Right. Yeah, and there is a lot of fallen trees that have fallen from both sides of the properties from um, Rocky. Right. Tail around Tail around. Yeah. Across as you get farther down, closer to the culvert you're talking about near the bike path. <clears throat> I remember that thing is just a jungle. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> well, that's, and that was one of the things. He got just, in and tried to have Wagner use its arm to. I talked to uh, Berkshire Design about this thing and about to, to actually clean that. And then I went to talk to Janet Stone. And she says, you know, that's a doable thing to get that done. And to me, while this is cons in, under construction, this is the time to clean that from that side to the bike path. Yeah, and I think we, we were out we there. We don't have any issue in doing that except that I need to go into the riverfront area to reach in there. We don't right. actually have to go down in the water, but we've been well, using Wagner's big machine that can reach and lift it out. <coughs> so we're happy well, to do that. Yeah. Virtual design seems to think you wouldn't have because of what's going on there now that you wouldn't have a problem getting approval from the conservation commission and do that yeah That's but what he said we'd, we'd be yeah we'd be happy i mean we'd be happy to you go if you go out there remember we were there saturday morning it's it's nice how they cleaned it and almost brush hogged it here then as you get back to this right, area it's just all overgrown and if you're making an investment in the property to you know beautify it take it down now right it would make the property and enhance yeah. the looks of it yeah, yeah absolutely and then with this the being silted up i mean if 
we'll call the state, or maybe you know McMahon is part of their discussion with DOT about this road widening can mention it. I have a feeling they're not going to want to lift their finger at all, and so you know with the, the state right approval. I was down there. They, they got an easement running right through. Yep. I was looking at other drainage across Route Nine and easements. And yep. Okay. There's the state has that easement right there. Um, but it's on his property that old road. Yeah, um, no, about half of it. yeah half you'll see that it meanders between the two properties, kind of along that property line. Oh, um, I thought the property line was just on the other side. No, of the if you look, the stakes are almost right down the center of the brook. It is. is. Does that show the layout of the brook? Because that seems to be a wavery. Yeah, I, I'm i not sure how accurate it is, but I know you can, maybe I'll bring this up so you can see it a little bit better. Where the brook is meandering onto the other property oh, and on both sides. back yeah, over and there. Okay. Yeah. It's mostly on your property, yeah. but still a decent amount is on the other property. Yeah. Mm, that would be no, well, the state's got an easement in there anyway, so they yeah. wouldn't mind doing it. So well, if, they won't, if they don't mind doing it, come no, on in. Come on and do it. I mean, if they want, they're, they're, they'd probably be happy to have somebody That's what do I their work for them. That's what I would imagine. Yeah. 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 Well, only for issue is getting permission from Concom to do it. Yeah. Right. Right. And, 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 to be, be, oh. and from okay. DOT. Right. Yes. Right. All right. So we'll make that a condition of your project. Okay. They sure. Clean the Route Nine culvert and or whatever you want to call that. The. Perennial straight. Yes, yeah, as perennial. long as we can hedge that with the appropriate approvals, so that if they obviously, say no, then obviously, yeah. we're not. Oh, to request that John comes to Comic Con and speaks with us. Absolutely. Right. Thank you. Then will throw you out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're also asking for waiver of strict compliance with the landscaping island requirement, just because of the layout of the site. And again, I think if you look at what we're actually, in, you know, when you compare what's there now to what will be there and i think you'll probably already see an improvement we think that the could you just you have a picture that shows parking better that doesn't show the parking space on that one does it 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 does maybe you can bring it up how deep is the clay spread underneath that property the clay well, how deep do you go before you get clay oh. three feet yeah. We, right. we did borns the other day, 25 feet, we're still inside. Really? That yeah. whole area is like that. It's just a blue plate. There's no percolation at all. Yeah. Okay. That's why it's good to really have that brook in there to clean that. And then, okay. Because most of your property is going to be all sheer runoff, right? Correct. Yeah. No penetration. No. Um, so I guess a couple of other pieces. Uh, we are in the <coughs> aquifer, so we've got a letter from SWCA, um, and you've got a list of what Harbor Freight is going to store on site, similar to what you'd expect at um, you know Lowe's or, or Home yeah, Depot. Yeah, yeah, both yeah, in the general aquifer. home chemicals. You got it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Nothing in. What do they call it? There's a word, but I can't think of the word. It's O R M D or something like that. Oh. In general. Uh, um, not in quantity, any significant quantities. Okay. But I get another issue with this project. I travel there all uh, every day and go to the stable for breakfast. And cars going into into the car lot, they jam traffic all the time. Is there any way of making something so the cars, if they're turning in, they they don't stop the traffic. They can pull to the side. Is there any way of doing this? and going east and going west that's going to be a i think that's going to be a little problem there because right now every time somebody goes in subaru or the, even the the school it backs up traffic all the way you know sometimes that well, what's the final solution for route nine is there going to be three lanes or it's going to be lanes? three lanes with a common turning lane a middle, middle, turn, middle, 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 middle turn lane so that should reduce conflict. Yeah, that conflict. That conflict. Yeah. What is gonna that they're gonna do that? Twenty twenty. I think twenty twenty is when they were projecting it. 
2025 it should be done. <laughs> that is, really, that's a, you guys go down there? No, I know. Yeah, I, 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 I've seen it in the morning, especially going into the charter school. That's a big problem with the charter school when they're trying to bring the, the students in early in the morning and in the afternoon when they're dismissing already. They have been doing like a staging lot at the, what is the, the restaurant of the road? Pulse. 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 But that's only a partial relief. You know, I see people going, you know, you know, people going in picking up their kids. They they get stuck out there, they get stuck in a parking lot. That's yeah, so we, we had a, a traffic engineer. I mean, I think practically you're right, and I think the what's gonna happen in Route 9 with that third turning lane hopefully will alleviate a lot of the issue. Um, looking at the uses on site, we had we had our uh, traffic engineer take a look in there based upon the uses, based upon the retail use, uh, tool use in that front piece and the rails in the back, they're, um, I think they're projecting 27 new weekday morning trips, 52 weekday afternoon trips, and 45 Saturday peak hour trips, new trips for each of those. So they're projecting 184 new trips per day, and they said, you, know, you look at Route 9, it has 19,700 uh, average daily trips on that strip, and I think they, they measured it just um, west of East Street, I think is what they looked at. What is, the, the, sorry, right. no, no, that was it. What is the, the, does Harbor Freight have like certain times of day where there's more business than others? Yeah, I mean, I think, I'm guessing in, I don't know the direct answer to that. I'm, I know myself, it's in early in the morning before you're gonna start the project and you run out to actually get what you need to get to finish the project. Based on what you see here, it looks like the weekday afternoon is the highest generator and not the weekday morning. So I'd guess Saturdays and weekday afternoon are probably the biggest ones based on what we saw from the traffic engineer. Is there any way going east should be no problem at all going in the going west. That's where the problem's going to be. That's correct. And that's a problem. That I'm and, and if there's any way they could widen that that north side of the highway, just so if somebody's out in the middle road, they can, they the cars can get around them, and that wouldn't wouldn't cause a, a traffic jam. Well, I don't you know, know how they did that in front of Regish's place there. Well, I don't know if it's intentional or not from DP, from the highway people on Route 9, but the light is, they're staged so that there's a break in the traffic mm -hmm. for, for people to go that way. Yeah, yeah but there's traffic, they're so bad, it's just, that just a bad place. Well, it certainly, once again, depends when UMass is exiting, uh, you know, Ford, 330, 430. That stretch is uh, it's busy, but no, and it, 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 it is a fact. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, you would ask, but I don't know the deep the deep if the state has that or whatever on the other side of the street. They're probably going to say, "Well, the plan is this." I don't even ask them. But there's something that could be done. Yeah, certainly about giving a little bit of a relief, making turns left turns going west. I don't know. Fortunately, there's a signalized in intersection right past there that people can use. Yeah, I know they pull in. They, hopefully, they, they don't go to Lowe's. Yeah, I hope they don't go shopping at Lowe's. Hope they come back to the Harbor Bridge. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the trouble is the lights are here. What's, there's nothing really for lights this way. They just they went in that intersection there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This. You, you, you the can't. westbound traffic is going to be the snarl in this project. Yes. Well, that's the the state's problem, so to speak, because it's their road. They'll do what they want to do. We we can only request certain little things, but right. It, it is what it is. I mean, you're right. But I mean, to try to try to correct the Route Nine traffic with this little project is. You know, I, I suspect with something larger underway, they may not be cooperative in allowing uh, the really unique project. But you can ask. But you can ask. Yeah, I can do is ask to see what they say. Yeah. 
we'll make note of that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we're not asking you to build, rebuild Route 9. No. <laughs> That's out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, but look what happened when the uh, Mass Highway we did ask Lowe's to rebuild Route 9 in front of their space, and now that's turning into a racetrack. Yes. Oh, I know. That's true. Yeah, I started the other day. left lane, and somebody behind you in a hurry. Uh-huh. Zoom! <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. That, that merges right after. Yeah, I mean, you, go, you go out. Both directions. Yeah. That's the expression. That's tough. Yeah. yeah. Um, a, a couple of other pieces, I'll get into the elevations. Just as far as assessed value, the assessed value of this property currently is $488,000. I think for fiscal year 2019, it's like $498,000. Generates about $6,000 a year in taxes. Being conservative, you know, I looked at 220 Russell Street because I thought that might be somewhat of a comparable property to what's gonna happen, and that's assessed at 1.5 million, which is about triple what it's currently being assessed at. So. I, you know, you're looking at about twenty thousand dollars, eighteen thousand to twenty thousand dollars in taxes, um, compared to what you're getting currently at about six thousand dollars. So not only is it going to be, you know, beautified, we're going to clean up what's been leaking there for forty years. Um, we're also going to increase the the tax base here in Adley. Um, I guess two other pieces that we should address. One is going to be the elevations and the signage, and then the other is going to be uh, the, the drainage. So as far as elevations and, and signage, we've got, and those are, these are all rails, these are all Harbor Freight, um, I'm happy to pass them out or however you want to do it. This Boy, is, you make God be <laughs> there's, there's enough for you. Uh, this these one's kind of, a, those are all the same, rails are all the same. These are kind of a work in progress. I don't think Barry's necessarily completely pleased with it, so we would ask just to come back at a public, take whatever input you have, but to come back at a public meeting uh, just to show you the final plans that we have. Um, Kuhn Riddle Architects is a designer. Harbor Freight has a pretty well-baked floor plan that they like, and it's you know based upon um, where they lay everything out as far as fixtures inside the store. They've got it down to the inch, so they were pretty specific about what we could do and couldn't do. And they asked me to build a building 156 feet, three inches long. They had it down to the inch of what they wanted. Does it have to be that yellow color? Oh, so for rails? No, I, I think I think that's probably negotiable if it's something that the board doesn't want to see. I think that's yeah, Q Riddle I, taking I, some I liberties. Somehow yellow and blue just don't seem to It looks like a banana factory. <laughs> like, so this is not some bananas. This is a preliminary rendering. Yes, uh, yeah, I think we're, so typically Harbor Freight has big, blue, sometimes they have big blue buildings, that's what they've been providing to us. We, Barry said, look at the Manny's, he really likes what the Manny's looks like with the uh, horizontal clapboards, the different sizes, and then transitioning to a smaller size, so that was somewhat of the directive to Kuhn Riddle. I don't think they necessarily captured it entirely with what you have in front of you. Um, and also to maybe add some windows, even if it has you know, yeah, black span window, windows. Is there some the blue? That, that That's the blue that we wanted to avoid, yeah. Okay, so just, let me just stick with Harbor Freight for sure. a sec. They're, they have no windows, the store is just uh, That's what they would prefer, but I, they, I think I would like to put some they, windows outside can, that don't show inside. They won't be no, functional. Like staples. 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 Yeah. Correct. I'm Lights. required to supply them with a smooth wall inside. Um, obviously, so they can put their pictures together. Yeah. So that's my request. I don't have a problem inside what it looks like, but the outside, just a couple of windows to kind of. Right. Like, you know, Singles has the windows on Route 9, has a bunch of windows along Route 9. Yeah. And they are, are only for. for that's for right. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's what I would like to do, at least on two sides. Yeah. The north side and the west side. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, I agree with that. And then probably something along the lines of the color that you're seeing there for the Harbor Freight. I don't have a problem with it. The color is blah, but it's kind of, that's fine. Yeah, I think it comes down to textures. It's like, like, a, neat, like a neutral color, neutral, neutral tone, and I don't, that, that, what do you, there's no color, yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like, a, like, it's a, like gray, a grayish, you know. Very, it's supposed to be two very shades of blue. gray, but they didn't really make it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll provide you with a better rendering. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That would be the blue and the yellow. I mean, that's a little, a little rude. That's different. 
<coughs> banana bowl. Yeah. Or we can know about that. <laughs> we'll, we'll certainly take that back to the rails. But that's that's the design they're looking for. It has a lot of functional space in there. There's for the rails. For the rails, yeah. Um, you know, retail office and then back of the house, uh, the warehouse. Right. So this is the way the buildings are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a probably a really nice one to look at. And they've tried to incorporate a lot of the vegetation that you're going to have. What you see up here. I mean, I, either building as far as the the shape to me is okay. So, I mean, it's it's not out of uh, harmony with it, the rest of the building right, in this area. It's in that area. You know, yeah, it is just, just the color of the rails is a little bit <laughs> um, unique. All the travel rocks. It's a good way to put it. I can look at that. <laughs> Actually, it looks better. <laughs> um, okay. Um, and then also, so signage, which is a, another pretty pretty big piece of this. So we're going to end up kind of minimizing this parcel. It kind of breaks itself up nicely. You've got this Harbor Freight piece, and then you've got this uh, Rails piece in the back. Um, so Barry has done everything he's done on the site in reliance on Harbor Freight coming in. Um, we let them know that internal illumination was not allowed. They push back extremely, extremely hard uh, to the point where they, you know, and I don't know, quite frankly, if they're just fainting it and pretending just so we can try to get them whatever, I would like to think that, that if I go back to them and say we can't get it, that they're still gonna be part of it, but my fear is that they're not, and they're being truthful about it, and Barry has spent all this money to redevelop it in reliance on what those lease payments will be on the back end. And so, it, essentially, I know we had talked about backlighting with them, they, weren't, they uh, didn't want backlighting they asked for and I think would accept, they would love internal illumination. So if we were to have a 64 square foot sign on the front of the building with internal illumination, I think they'd be fine with that. If it was- But internal illumination all of a sudden becomes blinking. It becomes, that's where we ran into problems. Sure. We approved internal illumination and then you got the LED lighting, then you got the flashing and the uh, Rockies Sign was a great example. It, it's it's uh, yeah. I mean, not, I think these are not going to flash. I mean, no, no. Well, they would just be John, the Rockies constant. wasn't going to flash either. But they went back and they got the LED lighting with the flashing. So because they said it's internally illuminated. You didn't tell us. Can we no just stipulate that there's absolutely well, no flashing lights? Ro 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 Rocky did that before we put the no LED system in. What? They, 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 they put the LED sign up and we did no LED um, flashing blinking signs afterwards because of them. Yeah, and, and we're, they're not looking for flashing, blinking, anything. If you've seen other Harbor Freights, it's just really what you're seeing on the um, elevation that you have in front of you. And it would just, it would be 64 square feet and only on that north face facing Route nine internal illumination, and I think I could get them to even drop because what they would, what they asked for, and what we've asked the zoning board of appeals for for a variance, is 64 square feet here internally illuminated, and uh, 40 square feet here internally illuminated. I think that we could get them to say, if we could give them 64 square feet internally illuminated, we could probably get rid of this sign. They would love it, of course, but we could probably get rid of that sign altogether, or. Reduce it. We, we would be willing to limit, we could limit this to 40 square feet, and it depends how you look at it. If you're allowed 64 and 64, take that extra 24, put it over there, and externally illuminate it. Why do they want to come to Hazard? I have to imagine because uh, of Barry Roberts, but also the trips along Route 9. Yeah, okay. Well, well they, 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 when, they, when you go to the, they want they don't want well, when you go to the West Springfield store, a lot of times they will ask for your zip code. Yeah. And they base a lot of things on the demographics, yes. obviously. Yes. While we're on here, so your zoning variant with the regular schedule for tonight has been moved to Thursday. Um, I'll just mention it. The zoning board meetings that are scheduled tonight and have been rescheduled for Thursday 
have not been posted properly by Mass General Law. Theoretically, the zoning board meeting tonight is an illegal hearing. And the way to correct that is to repost everything and reschedule it. Now, somebody has to complain about that for it to be such as the case. I don't know if somebody will or somebody won't, but all the hearing schedule, the senior center, the various uh, a couple of apartments and bedrooms on buildings and this, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The reason it was not posted properly, state law specifically states that a public hearing, whether it be any public hearing scheduled, must be posted a minimum of 14 days and seven days in a local newspaper. This hearing for the ZBA, the hearings for the ZBA tonight were posted once on April 6th, which is 11 days prior to today. So it doesn't comply with Mass General Law Chapter 40, Section 11. 48. So, so 48, 48, So 11. if nobody complains, then it stands? Yes, they, they, they can get away with it. Are you no, complaining? I don't know if you complain to the town clerk or just to the board or how you do so that. I, if I may, I think yes. under 48 section 17, it might be considered a, a procedural issue. So typically you have 20 days to appeal, but if it's a procedural issue, you have 90 days to appeal. Um, they may want to just re-notice it all together right. because to keep They're it open for three months out would be- That's four months before they finally get a decision. Yes. I mean, a final. Yes. Yes. But this, this is putting us in a little bit of a difficult decision. From a historical point of view, the, uh, in the past, people wanted bigger signs. The ZBA was giving them bigger signs. Bigger signs, bigger signs, bigger signs. And it was really, so we went to the town meeting and we asked for bigger signs and got shot down completely. Then they still continued to give bigger signs. So finally the planning board said, time out. You're really circumventing the zoning bylaws. So we, as the board, said that we are going to appeal the CBA's decision next time they do give a bigger sign. Mm -hmm. So we're put in the dilemma, are we going to be willing to sue again our Zoning Board of Appeals? Uh, if they do, uh, is there a legitimate reason for granting a variance? It, to me, it's a, it's, I don't know, I didn't even stay at a Holiday Inn, so I don't want to be a lawyer, <laughs> but nevertheless, it seems like a, a stretch for granting a variance. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing any hardship here, except they're not getting what they want. That's, they... Well, which ultimately gets, doesn't get Barry what he wants and makes all the money that he, the fi it's a, I think it's a financial hardship where... Does it count? Well, a financial hardship does count. Only um, if... It, you need financial hardship, but you also need something unique about the property that warrants a variance. So um, if you guys are so worried about the ZBA, why don't you go there and be a ZBA member? Well, do uh, you think it was coincidental that they scheduled the meeting at the time of our meeting? One can say yes, and one can say yeah. no. Okay. We, we, won't, uh, we won't go there. I think the issue is, um, it, it, it strikes me as hostile on the part of Harbor Freight to come to a town with established zoning bylaws and choose to seek to deviate from them for their, for no good reason. I mean, in Massachusetts, variances are intended to be rare and they've got to know they have no basis for requesting a variance. Maybe we disagree about the basis for the variance just because I'm going to potentially be there on Thursday night. Um, I, I would just suggest a, a couple of things to the board, understanding that the difficult position it, it's put you in, and I, and I really tried to come here mm -hmm. and not ask for the world, not ask for you know 90 square feet on the front and then another 60 square feet on the side, really just to pare it back to something that is allowed, the 64 square feet. And instead of making it externally illuminated, make it internally illuminated and make sure it's not flashing or anything that's offensive. I mean, we just, they want to be able to have it on this, right on the parapet, static from the hours, 8 a.m. that it's open to 8 p.m. when it closes. Um, and if you look around at the surrounding area, you've got a lot of internal illumination. You know, if it's, if it's down, if it's around here, in a relatively, what I would consider, historic 
area, maybe you don't want to have that in there. Oh, that's pre-existing non-conforming. And we can certainly appreciate that, but... No, you know, your client we're... has to appreciate it. <laughs> um, it, it. Will there be a roadside sign? There will be. Proposed to be right here, 20 feet off the road, 15 feet high, 64 square feet in total, broken up between... Once again, internally illuminated? No, so that's part of it. We would be willing to do the ground mounted. Oh, you're very generous. <laughs> uh, would they like it? Yeah, of course. But it, but it, again, the directive was this. This is the sign. So on on, on this building, because of the size of the building mm -hmm. and the complete lack of any other features in the building, I don't want to fall into the trap of. of of just plain let's make a deal when the bylaw is crystal clear but um, I'm less concerned about the size of the signage than I am about the illumination okay um, but that is uh, I personally I think it's more important to hold the line on internal illumination okay. than necessarily on size size okay. And I think, it, and we've had the discussions. And, and back wasn't No, they just. Well, Old Navy said the same thing, and a couple of other stores said the same thing. And uh, for whatever reason, I think they thought it would just wash out. So I had them go back and look at the external illumination, and you know, I, I, I forget who I saw. It might have been Verizon with the number of gooseneck lights that they had, but I think that's what they would. If we had to go with something externally illuminated, I think they'd want something bigger than the 64 square feet, and they would just have those the gooseneck lighting on top of that, um, pretty direct, and you know, making sure that it illuminates what it needs to illuminate. And doesn't. Is there going to be other lighting on the building? For example, like Texas Roadhouse pulled it on us, and they had lights all over the place. Uh, well, there is wall packs. Wall packs, but when not they, like when a. When they anticipate opening this building? When do they? Just open. When? Yeah. Um, I, so it's the past as we can build it. Yeah, like yeah. So, so they're going to occupy. They could be selling stuff by September. Oh yeah, probably. Really? I'll tell you something about chief financial officers and corporations. They have the cash flow from this building built into their cash flows. And they'd be very disappointed if this fell through because of a sign problem. I think they might might come around pretty damn quickly. And I would love, I would love nothing more than to stand in front of you. Is there, is there any other place in Hampshire County they could put this building? No. No. I mean, I Maybe think there no. probably is. Where are you going to put oh, it? Sure there is, but put it, it no. <laughs> they didn't put it there for obvious reasons. Right. They want it here. You know, you guys are harping about all this. This is the business district. It's not here. What the hell is so wrong with that? lit sign. It's lit either outside or inside. It's not flashing. What is the big problem? You guys make a big problem over nothing. Well, that's a business business. Yeah, this is what town meeting has given yeah. us this guy. Uh, that's exactly. Because John, meeting, I mean, so. you, you're going to find out it's increasingly difficult just to have your will put on various developers the way you want to. We have to go through a town meeting. Mm -hmm. Town meeting dictates these things. And how many times have I said we have tried to make sides bigger, and the town has voiced so, their objection. So they're doing the right thing to go into the ZBA. And what's wrong with that? No, because the Z, I mean, if you read the letter of the law, well, uh, yeah. uh, we're not getting any. <laughs> no, and I, and I don't want to so keep who spinning. Are you, who are you dealing with when you're negotiating this? Is it some developer for the corporation? No, it's, it's their real estate manager. It's a real estate Senior manager. real estate manager. Yeah. And uh, like ask, I said, ask, you know, ask him to go to the chief financial officer and say, <laughs> what are the cash flows you got built it, in for... You know, I, I just don't want it to go sideways for Barry. Like, that's what it comes back to for me. Yeah. And I can understand well, the actual arguments that's that everybody's making, right? But at the end of the day, okay. he's laid up... Well, let's, ju let's just leave the sign alone for now. We're wasting too much time on okay. it. Okay, and, and, well, I'll make, and I'll make one more point about the sign. I think, you know, so I, I had given Jim, I said it could go any... Jim Riley is the guy from Harbor Freight. It could go any different way. But if I could get you an external illuminated, an internal illuminated sign, would that be it? He said yes. Or a 64 square foot externally illuminated, and then he said a 40 square foot externally illuminated on this side. So what that would only mean is it's an additional 40 square feet over your bylaw, 
it is externally illuminated. This would be 40 square feet externally illuminated, and this would be 64 square feet externally illuminated. Well, you know they're not going to see the one on the side because of the let, billboard. Let, let, well, let, let them finish. Right. Let, let, let them finish. But just looking at, so when people, when the patrons pull in, you know, having a sign here to differentiate it from rails, you know, people probably will know what they're pulling into. They likely see it here. But if not, having some identification here. And that the billboard is there for another seven years, I believe. And then I believe that lease is up. And at that point, either Barry can rent it out to somebody else or more likely he'll be able to take it down. And so I think really the, the ask would be that extra 40 square feet here, all external illumination. So if we're, I know it's bigger, it's not bigger where we're talking about 90 square feet on the front, more. Okay, back up. Okay, back, back up. I'm backing. Back up. There is he. I'm gonna repeat what you just said. Oh boy. In seven years, there's a possibility the billboard could be gone. I would be 100% in favor of giving you two 64 square foot size in that building to see that billboard gone. I would go to the ZBA and support you 100%. And I'll yeah, be right behind you. <laughs> to get rid of that billboard with two external illuminated 64 square foot signs and a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. if, if we could make, find a way to get yeah. out of the lease. In seven before. years. It, it, wait, you're not going to cancel the lease. It's going to run its lease. Yeah. But if you could get rid of the lease, oh my goodness. Yes. That is one big ugly piece gone. I got I got it out that's there. I view billboards like the Cisco sign in that park. Well, that's definitely that, 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 that's landmark. This is happening. That's the landmark hey. sign. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the intention is to when that because I've, I've looked at the lease it was a, it's an extremely one-sided lease um, there really aren't any outs there might be a couple and if we can we're gonna try but after once it expires I, I would you put that in writing yeah sure. oh yeah we've been we've we looked at the lease six <laughs> So you think they would go for two large, non-illuminated signs? Externally illuminated, yes. I think I, 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 I personally, as one member, yeah. would support no, that. You've got two members. <laughs> what? I was making it myself. You can make your own comment. <laughs> okay, so you'd have two people. I mean, I, I would be willing to bet some others would jump on that one. Okay. To see that billboard on it. That's a good trade off. I'll support that. Okay. And that's all we would just... To, be clear when we are in front of the ZBA, that's all we would be asking for, right? We're not going to try to play, you know, mom against dad and go and try to, whatever it is. We know that we're here before you for the special permits. If what you say is what you just said, then that's the max we would be asking for from the, the ZBA. Excellent. And if you don't, look out. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you have to learn about me. The consensus is we're happy with 100 square feet externally illuminated. If the billboard goes, no, um, in seven years, 128 square feet, 264s. Yeah. yeah, that's a good trade off. 264s. Good job, Jim. Did you read The Art of a Deal or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <laughs> he's no set. Okay. And more time on his hands. He's retired now. Okay. And so then I guess the uh, last piece of it will be the drainage. Phil, thanks for being so patient. I'm gonna I'll hand oh, out parking lot lighting. Oh sure. I'll uh, give you that. That's the uh, stormwater okay. waiver. Parking lot lighting. You'll see it, they're in red along that exterior downcast, uh, full cutoff luminary shoebox type lighting. Yes. Okay. Yes. Are you the poles? Um, do we know that? 18? Yeah, yeah. Is there any lighting going to spill out on Route 9 in this project? None? I mean, maybe some from this to illuminate the access way, but I don't. We've got one pole right where you turn in, so you can see. Mm -hmm. That might go right on to the line. Could it need a waiver probably for a height of. Also, you can grab that. Okay. We've also, I don't know if you've seen this, it's the peer review letter. Yeah, from the 14th. 14th? 14th. 
Oh, okay. I'll step ahead of this. All right, so I've done enough yap, and I what, think. What do we, we allow? 12, right, James? Just a second. Oh, that's what we What's that? Type of, uh, okay. Oh, 15 feet. 15 feet. 15 feet. Okay. So, that's good. Can I keep that? Uh, good evening. Uh, for the record, my name is Phil Henry with Civil Design Group. We're the civil engineers on, on the project. Um, I know Tom stole most of my thunder, <laughs> but uh, I guess I'll, I'll just focus on the stormwater and I'm happy to answer any, any other specifics. But the the stormwater is, is a bit of a story. And, 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 and when we first got to the site, uh, we did, um, um, we, we, dug, we dug 15 test pits across the site. And as Tom had alluded to, we found a very small layer of fill and then essentially endless clay. Um, and then there was also high groundwater too, which didn't help ranging from 24 inches to about 36 inches. So two to three feet, we had, we had groundwater. Um, and that was observed groundwater as well. So it, it could be higher during, during season. So we had, a, we had a situation where because of the clay, we, we couldn't infiltrate. And, and even if we could infiltrate, you need to provide a requisite two feet separation to groundwater. And it's really four feet when you're using it to attenuate peak, peak flows. So that's what we had working against us. What we had working for us was that the site is, is, is clearly degraded. It's, it's, it's hard packed. Uh, there's, there's a pervious area. The underlying soils are, are very, it was a low, um, low infiltration rate, a D soil. So we had that going for us. The, we, were, we had a, a good um, base to, to improve upon. So I actually reached out to, to uh, Mark Stinson and my initial conversation was to talk about how we could seek waivers from either groundwater separation or infiltration because we just simply, you just simply cannot infiltrate through, through clay. And he said, um, focus your efforts on, on sheet flow and focus your efforts on not collecting the water through you know, a, a traditional structures, catch basins, detention systems, and so on, and, and, and maintain a widespread flow of the water, thereby increasing velocity, increasing flow, and basically having it managed over a long stretch of, 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 of lineal feet. So what we did at working for us... Did you say increase the velocity? Decrease the velocity. Oh, sorry. So you said increase. Oh, sorry. Wait a minute. Decrease the velocity. <laughs> so what we had working for us was that um, as you know, there's a, there's a stream running along the west side. This is Route 9 here. North is facing me. South is facing the trail. Here's the Subaru, and then here's the rental shop. So the, the, the stream uh, crosses under Route 9 and then meanders its way, and then through another uh, you know, stone um, 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 culvert. system, a culvert underneath the rail trail, run, running from north to south. But our site flows essentially from, from east to west. So we were able to um, take advantage of the fact that the, that, that the flow in the existing condition is flowing in one direction. Thereby, um, it, it actually helped us with the, with the um, um, future development in managing an analysis point, which is this area right here. So everything flows from, from um, east to west and then from north to south through, through this area here. So what we did was we, we essentially focused on, on sheet flow. We actually followed up and met with Mark Stinson. Um, and he, I certainly don't want to speak for him, but um, he, he did generally agree with our approach. And he Mark issued uh, DEP. Oh, OK. Sorry. That's fine. Thank you. Um, so essentially, the way the stormwater is managed, there, there's a high point here. And then all of, all of this runoff sheet flows this way. This is all curved to direct water and all the contours are directing it around around the building around the north side. Along the westerly side it's, it's, it's all sheet flowing straight down and then here it's all sheet flowing either into this internal wetland that we're maintaining or down through through here. This wetland system uh, there's an existing 24 inch um, pipe that is clogged, it's, it's substantially degraded. We are, we are proposing to replace that and, inc and, and allow this to flow freely. Um, 
What is that pipe that rolls, goes right to the brook? Right to the brook, yeah. There's an existing um, uh, driveway now that goes over uh, mm -hmm. over the, between this wetland and, and this wetland here. You can see it's channelized right here. And we're going to be proposing to, to replace that in kind. Uh, also along the Rouse building, there's another high point here that, that allows water to sheet flow around and so on here, such that this is all curved because it's all high, but all along here is no curb. And what, and what, and what the water's gonna be received on is a stone, like a pea stone area, two feet wide, okay, which is gonna be very flat. And then, and then downstream of that, there's gonna be a vegetated strip of about 25 to 35 feet. And that will allow the water to be treated, slowed down, cooled off, off of the asphalt, and then essentially that, that peak flow, if you will, will be, will, will, will be forced to run over uh, in a lineal footage from here to here as opposed to going through a pipe. And that's what Mark said to focus on. Um, ironically enough, we, we, we actually did meet the peak flows. Uh, the 210 and the 100 are substantially met. Uh, and we have provided that to Berkshire Design Group. Um, and again, I don't want to speak for them. You'll see in their letter, they didn't, their final draft did not have any um, stormwater issues. Um, and I had spoken with Mark Donald, right? Um, and the only outstanding issue was that when, because of we're proposing to, to fill um, wetlands here and, and a section of the existing wetlands here, we were uh, proposing to replicate uh, wetlands in this portion here, which is highlighted by this, by this area here and this area. We had mistakenly counted that as open space when we should have applied it to, to the wetlands. So that, so that open space number which we originally su submitted as 36%, actually went down to 29%, but it still exceeds the 20% requirement. So it was a, you know, a numerical error there. That, that What's your um, uh, elevation on your invert of the state and the invert in the box culvert? Here? Yeah, and this, then at the box It's culvert. about 143 here. Um, down here, you're looking at I don't see an actual ember, but the contour directly adjacent to it is about 136. So you have about seven feet of grade change across, I think that's four or so 500 feet. Plenty of yeah, it's plenty of pitch, but, it, but it's also not raging either. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good meandering. Very green strong, green. reasonable. Problem. Yeah. So yeah. actually, does the peat stone and the grass are going to act as the filter? Exactly. Dirt and silk and stuff yeah, like and, that. and and actually, Mark Mark was very pleased that we were utilizing that, and because that, that's a specified practice in the DEP stormwater handbook. What kind of uh, is that? A special kind of grass or or, or bushes or whatever? Yeah, there'll be there'll be there'll be. Um, um, I have the landscape plans here that I can show you. We're we we're, we're not the landscape architect, but um, there is a substantial amount of, of vegetation being being proposed in this area here. So everything that you see here in green is going to be revegetated. And like I had mentioned, that's about 25 to 35 feet on, on average. So you can see here, there's what, what you do see here is the actual trees that are going to be aligned along the edge. And then everything that's in grass is going to be a seeded mixture. So, and again, that, that's, that's intended to you know, treat the water. Promote does, that, does it grow higher or does it stay some of some of it, it varies. So some of it will be uh, trees that will obviously grow, uh, and some of it will be low-lying grasses that are meant to just lie there. And mm -hmm. some of it, some of it along the edge here is proposed to be mown grass, and then as you get closer to the wetland, you just leave it natural. In that breakway in between, what is that? That's a swale. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. What you see here. In, in white, which is between the, gr the green and this black line, that's the existing wetlands. So that's a swale going towards your... This is an existing wetlands running this way and this way. Mm -hmm. So you still have... You still have one more meeting with the compound yes. to get this all addressed? Yes, yes sir. Okay, fine. Maybe. Steve Lewis, do they drain their water onto this property? Or is they, they, they have, um, 
the, their, their parking lot drains to what I believe is uh, inlets, catch basins, and then is, is detained through a subsurface structure. And then they are actually piped, oh, and they yeah. come along the southerly edge of the property line and discharge right at this outlet. Is that correct, Tom? That's correct. So, so they do use um, a portion of our property, but, but it's below grade. There's is there an easement there for them to do that? There, there is. A, yeah. That's all piped, right? Correct. It's all piped. Yeah. I think when Barry was out there, he couldn't go. I think go. it's a 36 inch pipe that comes out right before it goes under the bike path. Yeah, you can actually see the head wall here. Yeah, the only letter we got from anybody in town, I'll be that time never. We got an email from Marlo, the uh, Marlo Warren of the EPW director, and he says he's reviewed the plan for 303 Russell Street. They look good to me except for one comment. The drainage plan shows the overflow spilling into a drainage easement that appears to be on the property. I viewed the site last week and it looks like the sealed area could use some maintenance. I believe it's a mass DOT, but so I think he's talking about that. Yeah, this area. Yeah. Right yeah. yeah. Okay, that's what we were talking about. That's the maintenance of the ditch or the maintenance of the catch The maintenance there? of the ditch, because I docked I doc them this afternoon. Yeah, yeah and, and as we discussed, the northerly culvert is, is blocked. Right. So, and then so they go further down in the stream, there's a lot of debris yes. that you're polluting. So, as we talked about yeah. getting... So is that going to be one of our conditions or is that going to be conservation conditions? Well, we can put in a request that they... Uh, make the best efforts to obtain DOT and Conservation Commission approval to work in there. Are we going to send a, send a letter to the ComCom? Yeah. Com? That'd be nice. Yeah. That'd be great. Bill? Yeah, we can. Oh, I copy, I, I give them a copy of our decision when it gets filed. But if we, well, we, we just send it our decision to me right. to continue this, so we right. really should I'll, do I'll this. email. Okay. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great. Thank you. Take care so that We've got a few outstanding issues. The signage is one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the the, uh, the whole, I mean, really, it's really only the drainage thing is really the last one. And, and proper delineation of however the replication is going to work. That might it? change stuff. So oh, after Con Con? Yes. 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 Yeah. The water issue, did you? Make an arrow when you said it came from Lowe's. I thought this is more Home Depot, Mountain Farms Mall. Yeah, and I, it was just, it was more of a, what I had understood from Mickey Marcus based upon, I don't know if this, because this meanders here, and then I think it comes back over here at some point, but I think it does come from there. I don't know if there is any 200 foot riparian zone with this. Lowe's theme. goes pretty much. To the west, yes. and there's a culvert yes. there. As and it joins on the other side that's of the correct. bike culvert path. Where yeah. the drive over. No, it goes <laughs> under Route Nine there. For yeah. point of clarification, the uh, the stream that goes behind Dunkin' Donuts that comes from uh, Lo uh, Home Depot and uh, takes the drainage from Mountain Farms Mall. Is that the one that would go okay. along Route Nine and here? Then no, then it goes right behind the Four Seasons, and then it cuts That's over. That's correct. Over. Where's it cut over? It crosses by that, I think, by the uh, Chinese place there, yeah. right? and then it cuts over and goes. There's a small brook that runs out through Alex that way. This, this, this runs... It doesn't go into this thing. Yeah, no, this no, one, this one's somewhat standalone. When Lowe's you, comes in here, here, yeah, here, there, there here. Is this south right. Okay. And then, I mean, east of that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And the, 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 the Lowe's dumps out by the pump station. Over here, right. and correct. then they come across. Right. Yeah. All right. So one with uh, Alan flooded in the back after that rainstorm this past from the Monday and stuff. Really? Mm -hmm. We're by, by the Fort River yeah. as you drive along oh, okay. South Maple Street. Because yeah. I go, I drive that with some of the DMI deliveries. Yeah. And that place was well underwater yesterday. Yeah. That was a lot of rain. It was, yeah. well, it was that heavy, goopy yeah. rain, too. Was well, was that and the snow probably, we probably blocked it so it stayed yeah. cool a little bit yeah. before it built up for, for a short period of time. Because today, when I went through there, it wasn't bad at all. It was, it was fine. I drove by there today. 
Okay, that's it. Okay. okay. So we're going to have to continue the hearing. Um, for the signage is one thing, and really to the, we can continue it for two weeks from tonight. We should, when, is your, when is your next time come meeting? May 8th. Obviously, we'd like to avoid the planning board meeting when the senior center plans are being submitted, but if that's what we've got, we'll, we'll be well, there. If it's just submitting the plans. Submission of plans is okay. submission of plans. It's not like it's public hearing. Okay. Okay. Sure. And that's I mean, fine. I mean you, all of your your opponents <laughs> here tonight. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> are they going to come in with the uh, plan for the sign off the street? Yeah, we can. I can provide you everything as we've just heard it with external illumination there and show it to you the external illumination and the size here and then you'll have it on your rails plan but the external illuminated you know 40 square foot sign there but yeah we can certainly provide the signage um so you you, you feel reasonable confident that too large the external illuminated sign might i don't have much of a choice but yeah yeah i, I think you've been very generous um and reasonable in this we'll see it Harbor Freight of Creek. Hopefully they may. Right. It's called a little horse train. That's, I, uh, yeah. I know. Okay. Um, okay, so signage, wait for ConCom to see if any of this, because we, we this is a pretty robust wetland yeah. replication plan. I mean, we're only disturbing 4,800 square feet. It's two to one in Hadley, so we'd be under 10,000 square feet. This is 13,000 square feet. So I think, you know, to Phil's point about just and, and to Mr. Michkowski's point about the efficacy of this, I think it's going to, this is the way it all drains, and so to have those wetlands plants there. When, when is your meeting with DOT on the highway stuff? I think this week is what it's supposed to be. We had McMahon reach out to District 2. They were looking to schedule it for a day this week. Um, wasn't today. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow. If not, it'll be okay. soon. They've got a good relationship with is, is District DOT 2. the same as the one for cleaning the, the, the culverts? Um, maybe. Okay. Yeah, maybe raise that to them. If they have any questions, yeah. they need any comments from us, they can contact Bill or myself. Okay. In my opinion, the uh, real estate guys here in bonus is very much going to be affected by whether this thing is up and running. Trust me. You have a very practical approach. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're the, you're the doctor, the lawyer, the, know, the, the, the construction guy, the engineer. It's like a bad joke. You've got a very unique planning board here. Yeah, we've got to tell Phil push. Henry we're not the Hicks from Hadley. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we had him in Amherst a couple weeks ago. Oh, so my God. Yeah, of course. I still listen to Hadley. I said, yeah, oh, we were there at 11 o'clock at night. I said, Hadley is nothing like it. That's right. It. So, it was good. He knows. <laughs> Amherst, get a bottle of aspirin. <laughs> I realize, just as an aside, that the uh, planning board salaries and part-time wages in Belchertown total about $94,000. And this board gets paid $2,300 total. Wow. Am I missing something, Bill? The wow. planning <laughs> board right. in Belchertown gets nothing. Oh, we don't. Okay. That is the planning director. <laughs> director, excuse me, director. I misspoke, yeah. Now, what's the population of Belgium? Town? A lot of land, not a lot of people. Though, no. I don't think. Well, there's quite a few people. They just they 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 going to be nine thousand. Yeah, they, they no, a that's, part, school, that's a big one. High school, high school, school. Yeah. 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 And what is your com com meeting for the eighth? And time? Johnny, you're more than welcome to come out on Thursday. What time is that? Two p.m. It's when? two two o'clock. Two o'clock in the afternoon. It's probably going to be wet, so wear your boots. But <laughs> you always wear your boots when you're around, John. Did you tell me Belcher Town took some of the land that was part yeah, of the from, yeah from from some good. of the towns in the yeah. Quabbin. Yeah. Yeah. Where did Joe Zagrani get his first dog? This is a trip. So it, actually, in, in two weeks. We're going to continue your meeting for the first. Oh, you're going to meet the meeting with the council. It's going to be the fifteenth. We're going to continue it then, huh? Okay. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. And that can give us time after the eighth, assuming we're approved there, to make any other changes to the plan. So we'll have a final set of plans. And so on the nineteenth is when you put your ZBA, correct? This yes. 
Thursday. Thursday evening at yes. 7? Yes. I will go. And even if they have to repost it, at least I can make that comment so it's irrelevant whether for the repost or not. The planning board's my first one before I say that is the planning board, other than everything that we discussed about, the 264 square foot signs and eventually seven years from now the billboard is gone. Is that a is my comment about that appropriate for the rest of you to agree with? Not eventually. That is the deal. No, no, what I mean is the, in seven years, the billboard is gone. They get fixed 264 square foot external buildings, externally illuminated building signs granted by the DBA. I know you're in favor of that. Yeah, it's, yeah I'm not opposed to that. That's a reasonable okay. compromise. Okay. What a written agreement. Thank you. Obviously, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. No, 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 I mean, when you consider the site and the work they have to go through, the... It, it's laudable how well, of course, the lawyer presented the case, but as well as the engineer. Uh, Don't give them too much credit. No, but <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's just one of the best got paid enough. Yeah, you won't be up to the bottom line somewhere. Don't ever give a lawyer that. No, it's a tough sight. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, what, what do we, if this doesn't go, what do we have there? Oh, it, it looks, even though it's, it looks like a big, water pond right now, it looks so much better than it has for the last number of years. I couldn't believe the, the two humps of concrete we took out of there, one up by the original building. They must have had a planer mill in there, because they're, and concrete must have been cheap, because they just, man, that thing was eight foot by six foot. In the front building. Yeah. They had a huge planer in there. Yeah. yeah. Because we had my cousin, Cut some trees down almost 40 years ago. He was he's into woodworking. It was a big maple tree, and they we planted and the boards were just about three foot wide. Wow! And they were two they were two and a half inches thick, and they planed them. They were I don't know 16 feet long, whatever it was. It must have been I don't know how many we planed. This planer, I mean, you're talking 40 years ago, noisy. Yeah, this thing was a monster. Well, they had concrete on it. That's why. I mean, it didn't vibrate. Back then, the way. concrete wasn't that much money. Right, just back the truck up and keep dumping it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> okay. Well, thanks. Okay. And the Art Valley Hall is still there, Barry. The Art Valley Hall is still there. We want to put your magic touch to it. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, good. So you want to yeah, so here, here to continue to the 15th of May. Right, perfect. Thank, right. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so now we have the zoning amendments. This is, <coughs> yes, the Hadley County Board will have the public hearing on Tuesday, January, oh yeah, sorry, April 17th, 2018, beginning at 715 begin at the Hadley Senior Center meeting room, took the hearing to review the proposed, the following proposed amendment to the Hadley zoning bylaw. Amend the Senior Housing Overlay District Section 27.5.B affordability requirement by referencing it to the inclusionary zoning section, Section 25, yes. and to amend Section 25 by incorporating the Senior Housing affordability requirements into it and to eliminate the option of the housing trust fund in both sections. Yeah. The complete text of the zoning bylaws and map may be viewed during normal business hours in the town clerk's office, published 2 and 9 of April in the Gazette. And just for everybody's reference, this is the actual changes that, will, that I have proposed to put into the um, town, warrant. town warrant, and that's all based on the section of the affordability and senior housing that um, Larry gave us, the yellow and the red sections between the two of them, either eliminating some or adding words to the others. And so I just went through each of these and took the different sections and said either erase this or add this or change this or whatever it might be. That's what this is about. 
I hope I didn't miss anything. And the big one is to eliminate the housing trust fund as an option, at least for the time being, until we can decide if that's a good idea or a bad idea. I think, I mean, you may, that's, that's a good explanation. We'll get this so it's in conformity with both. Yeah. Both basically, basically what, what it comes down to is we have the inclusionary section all about affordability housing and the senior um, overlay district, the senior housing bylaw, and they both had a little bit different wording for inclusionary or affordability. So now the senior housing directly references the inclusionary zoning for affordability and it eliminates the housing trust fund so that they're very now they're now very consistent with each other. Perfect. We, yeah. I mean you, you probably if anybody's been watching our, our meetings, you have seen us go back and forth on this housing trust fund and for the time being we're taking it out of the bylaw. It's not even going to be allowed until we can decide whether it's good or bad for the long term. Then we can put it back in. Or not. You know, the, uh, it's also just important to mention that the, the single reference to uh, the Affordable Housing Trust Fund in uh, Section 25 uh, was put in there because at the time we adopted Section 25, the uh, inclusionary zoning, we had a separate article to create a housing trust fund. That article was withdrawn at town meeting. The housing trust fund was never created. So it's not that we are scrapping a housing trust fund. We're just scrapping a reference to a housing trust fund that doesn't lead anywhere. It doesn't exist anywhere. Right. OK. So you see a motion to, ref to recommend or not recommend this for the town meeting on May 3rd? May 3rd? Yeah. May 3rd. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion passes unanimously. That's it. That's the only zoning article on town meeting um, because everything else that we're looking at got to be not ready in time. For the fall town meeting, we will have a marijuana, recreational marijuana zoning by law or something about it. And uh, the uh, the MS4. Oh, MS4 drainage. the drainage. Yeah, that's another one that uh, stormwater stormwater drainage to comply with the new MS4 in the state. Uh, we're gonna we're already making sure people com any applicant complies with it, um, even without the zoning change. We can enforce that. Just a matter of how we do it for the long term. For the new zoning in general. You know, with the medical marijuana, this is a, a legal question. There's something in the news that uh, some judge is telling the legislature to rewrite the medical marijuana so you don't go by pounds, you go by plants. I uh, it's, it's, haven't heard anything about that. It was in the news uh, today. So, well they, well, they reference that in a few different ways. It's like 100,000 square feet growth is one option, is one idea, and then they have a, um, selling is by pounds and ounces, personal growing is by plants, so that it's, well, maybe, maybe that's what it's about, it's all over the place. It's correct, it's not consistent, that's correct. Yeah, I mean, and they want to, kind of, for the growing, they want to have plants, so you can't, how many pounds is this going to? I mean, 100,000 square feet, that's a, how many plants? I mean, depending on the farmer, they could either make it. Well, of course, they can't make it super dense because it wouldn't produce. But I don't know. I don't know. That's 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 for the that's for the powers to be to worry about. Not us. Just a note for the history. Barbara Bush passed away about ten minutes ago. Who? Barbara Bush. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's what you do in our funny boy meetings. I'm looking, watching her. I heard of you. Yeah. Boring, I guess. <laughs> you know, that, just to know, Bill and myself uh, attended a meeting called Pioneer Valley Planning Commission. I found it very interesting. And a woman talked on that 
uh, affordable housing. And there is so many different categories and groups in the state of Massachusetts to apply for monies for this. And one thing uh, I liked about it, the population under 7,000, they had there that there was a town could apply for an ambulance. So I, I called her today on that, and uh, she didn't return the call yet, but I'm gonna chase that down because the town is. You know, one, one option, uh, some of these grants are not directly to support the creation of housing, but to support uh, upgrading infrastructure. <coughs> so <coughs> ambulance, extending a sewer line, extending a water line, are uh, all options. That lady was very knowledgeable and just... So I sent, that went on. I forwarded the, um, the PowerPoint slides from that meeting to I saw that. That's pretty all of they're, you. They're very good. Do we need to do anything with this uh, 60, we don't need to do anything with 61B? Uh, no. Yeah, uh, that's the, the, uh, the 61B, 61A, and 61 notices have to go to uh, select board, conservation commission, planning board, assessor, and the state forester. Okay. Uh, but only the select board can exercise, can vote to exercise 61 right of first refusal. Okay. What, I, I, somebody asked me a question. Uh, if a farmer has solar panels, is he eligible for 61A? If what? If a farmer has solar panels on his field, if he traditionally farms, he can get, if he has five acres or more, you can get a reduction in your taxes, so it would not be, but what if you have solar panels on it? Uh, you'd have to direct that to the assessors. Okay. That's not... I, that's what I think. Yeah. It is. It's certainly a change in use, isn't it? Pardon? It's certainly a significant change in use. Sure is. Electricity from but it's an, use. Well, I guess it depends on whether if you put in an entire solar field, right. a commercial field, you have to take it out of 61A. Okay. Uh, when the field, well, the ones that Allard Farms are putting up and the one that is off of uh, Huntington, with, had to withdraw that portion from 61A. But if you're just talking about adding uh, you know, a couple of panels to the, the small scale, yeah. I don't know. What are those solar panels we're working the last five, six days? Uh, <laughs> I do know that the, uh, the APR program will allow solar panels uh, to a limited extent, you have to apply directly to them, and uh, if your land is in APR, the solar panels can only be in support of that APR land and sized to reflect your usage on that land. So if you have a, uh, if you have field crops and you don't have any building on that particular parcel, you can't put solar there. If you have a dairy operation, uh, you can put solar on APR land to support your usage. Correct. But that under the 61A program, if if it's a five acre parcel and you're taking two acres out of uh, for solar, then you're going to take that whole parcel out of 61A. Probably. 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 Uh, that's but if it's 20 acres and you put two acres, well, that's all you take withdraw is yeah. two acres. Well, I guess, again, we have to talk to Dan. We, we can't really speak to that because that's a tax decision. So the assessor's office would... So they got all the guidelines for that? <coughs> they the should. Assessors? Sure, you can check. Uh, okay. Anything else? I have nothing. I have nothing else. Anybody have anything? No. Motion to adjourn? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Beating history. Thank you. Thank you, John. Answer your question, Mike. <laughs>